Hi, welcome to another video. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can use text gradient in CSS. So it will be a quick video and you will learn how you can apply gradient in the text. So let's start and I'll come to my browser here. So in code pin, I have created a pin here. I will put it in the video description. Also, you can access here. I have a basic like document and here is a quote I have copied from internet. And now we are going to apply gradient into this text. Uh, the first thing you have to know is like I have also applied like a custom uh, font here so that should be fine I'm going to generate a gradient because a gradient like picking color is slightly like difficult and it will take some time so you can use um, CSS gradient.io for generating they have a lot of examples here so I have already um, found um, a color code here so I'm going to use the same thing so you can use both of them or like one of them because background gradient is not supported everywhere that's why they put both of them together so i'll come here and put it for the h3 and now it has a background gradient let's give it a background image something like that and it will work the same way so background image it has a gradient of text now you have to apply this one in the text itself to do that one you are going to use another property called uh, background clip Background clip is new and the support for background clip is not really good but it is good to learn this in the early stage. If you come to canaiuse.com and search for the background clip, you will see that even the latest version of Google Chrome is not supporting this. So uh, we can use like the prefix and it is going to work just fine. Since I'm using Chrome and I will prefix it, it, will, it should work just fine. So let's come to our example here and I'm going to come here and say this should be background clip and you will apply it to text now it has different property here you will say the background clip should apply to the text now as i said it is not going to work alone so what you have to do is you have to prefix this one right now uh, you can keep this one this is like a common practice everyone do and the other one is going to be webkit now this is the webkit prefix once you apply this one you can see the background gradient is gone now you have to do another thing now the text color in here should be transparent so if you want to do that one again you are going to use the text fill uh, css property to make the text uh, color in here uh, transparent so i'll come here and i'll put again we are going to use the WebKit because this one is also not uh, quite like supported by most browser so we will use the text fill color and we are going to say this is going to be transparent once you apply this one I hope I have oops it has a typo it should be transparent and once you apply this one you can see your gradient is now applying directly to the text so it is that easy to do this one now if you uh, search for the text fill color property in canaiuse.com again you will see the browser like most of this browser is not supporting like text fill color currently is not supporting except for firefox which was supporting most of it like chrome is good safari and most of it does not support so it is not supported on all browsers but in the early stage it is good to learn yes so that's it in this short video that is how you can apply gradient i know this has been a trend on most websites like people use it and this is how you can apply it the other way is to use png in photoshop which is not recommended but this is how you do it in css i hope it has been informative thank you for watching and i will see you in the next quick video which are tips coming uh, soon on the channel